Hello! Welcome to another video tutorial on using Microsoft Word to do APA formatting and style for your papers and assignments. In my previous videos, we set up the basic formatting, the running head, the title page, and the abstract. To view those tutorials, please see the links I've included in the description below. In this video, we're going to talk about the main portion of your APA paper, the main body. Starting at the end of your abstract, hit enter on your keyboard several times until you're at the top of a new page. Center the text. Then type in the full title of your paper and title case. Now let's check the spacing tool. To make sure we are at 2.0 for double spacing and that it says add space for both options at the bottom. This will ensure that you have no extra spaces between your paragraphs and that your entire paper is fully double spaced. Hit the enter key on your keyboard to start your first paragraph. Left align the text. For every new paragraph in your main body, you will hit the tab key on your keyboard to indent the first line. Then just start typing. To start a new paragraph, hit the enter key and the tab key on your keyboard. When using information from an outside source, provide an in-text citation at the end of the sentence before the period. In-text citations must include the author's last name or names if there's multiple authors, followed by a comma and the year of publication. It is recommended that you provide the page or paragraph number where you got this information. Do this after another comma, and for a page number use a P period, space, and the number, or if it's a paragraph number, P-A-R-A -A period, space, and then the number. Close the in-text citations in parentheses and then use the period at the end. Page numbers and paragraph numbers are required if you use a direct quote in your paper. When using direct quotes, remember that they must be formatted differently depending on their length. For a direct quote that is longer than 40 words, hit enter on your keyboard to start a new line. But do not hit tab. Type in the quote. Then click and drag your mouse to highlight the quote. Right click on the highlighted area and select paragraph. In the new window that pops up, set the left indent to half an inch. Then click OK. This indents your quote appropriately. At the end of your quote, include the in-text citation as usual. This is the only situation where you would put the in-text citation after a period. Hit enter to go to the next line. You can use the decrease indent button to go back to your regular formatting. If you are continuing the same paragraph, do not hit tab. If you are starting a new paragraph, hit tab to indent. You will continue to write your paper following these rules until your paper is complete. 
Join me in the next video to find out how to set up your references page.